The Arizona Diamondbacks are an American professional baseball team based in Phoenix, Arizona. The Diamondbacks compete in Major League Baseball as a member club of the National League West Division. The franchise was established as an expansion team and began play in 1998. The team plays its home games at Chase Field, formerly known as Bank One Ballpark. In its fourth season, Arizona won a World Series championship, defeating the New York Yankees in 2001 to become the fastest expansion team in Major League history to win a championship. From 1998 to 2021, the Diamondbacks have an overall record of 1,840 to 1,946. On March 9, 1995, Phoenix was awarded an expansion franchise to begin play for the 1998 season. A $130 million franchise fee was paid to Major League Baseball and on January 16, 1997, the Diamondbacks were officially voted into the National League. The Diamondbacks' first Major League game was played against the Colorado Rockies on March 31, 1998, at Bank One Ballpark. The ballpark was renamed Chase Field in 2005, as a result of Bank One Corporation's merger with J.P. Morgan Chase & Company. Since their debut, the Diamondbacks have won five NL West Division titles, one NL pennant, one wild card game, and the 2001 World Series. Uniform design from late 1990s through mid-2000s the Diamondbacks' original colors were purple, black, teal and copper. Their first logo was an italicized block letter A with a diamond pattern, and the crossbar represented by a snake's tongue. This period saw the Diamondbacks wear various uniform combinations. At home, the Diamondbacks wore cream uniforms with purple pinstripes. The primary sleeved uniform, worn from 1998 to 2000, featured the full team name and front and chest numbers. The alternate sleeveless version contained the A logo on the right chest, and was paired with purple undershirts. Before the 2001 season, the sleeve uniform was changed to feature the A logo. In all three uniforms, player names were teal with purple trim, and numbers were purple with white with teal trim. The Diamondbacks' primary road gray uniform also contained purple pinstripes. The first version featured Arizona in purple with white and teal trim along with black drop shadows. Chess numbers were also added. Player names were in purple with white trim, and numbers were teal with white and purple trim. In 2001, the uniform became sleeveless with black undershirts, and the lettering scheme was changed to purple with white, copper and black accents. The alternate home purple uniform featured Arizona and teal with white and copper trim and black drop shadows. Originally the letters were rendered in teal with copper and white trim, but was changed to copper with teal and white trim after only one season. This set was worn until 2002. The alternate road black uniform initially featured the A logo on the right chest, while letters were in purple with white trim and numbers in teal with white and purple trim. A zigzag pattern of teal, copper and purple was also featured on the sleeves. In 2001, the uniform was changed to feature Arizona in front. Letters were now purple with white and copper trim. The Diamondbacks initially wore four different cap versions. The primary home cap is all purple, while the road cap is black with a teal brim. They also wore a cream cap with purple brim, and a teal cap with purple brim. All designs featured the primary logo. In 1999, the road cap became all black and contained the alternate D-Snake logo rendered in copper. Also, the teal and cream alternate caps were dropped. The left sleeve of all four uniforms initially contained the snake logo with the full team name, but became only exclusive to the road black uniform after the 2003 season. The franchise unveiled new uniforms and colors of Sedona Red, Sonoran Sand and Black on November 8, 2006. The red shade is named for the Sandstone Canyon at Red Rock State Park near Sedona, while the beige shade is named for the Sonoran Desert. A sleeve patch was added featuring a lowercase d and be configured to look like a snake's head. The team also kept the D logo, but was slightly altered and put on an all red cap to be used as their game cap. They also kept the A logo with the new colors applied to it, with a solid black cap used as the alternate cap. A similar color scheme is currently used by the Arizona Coyotes of the National Hockey League. The white home uniform featured D backs in red with sand and black trim. The road gray uniform featured Arizona in red with sand and black trim. Player names were red with black trim while numbers were black with red trim. The alternate red uniform contained D-backs in sand with red and black trim, with player names in sand with black trim and numbers in black with sand trim. There were two versions of the alternate black uniform. 
One design has the alternator logo on the right chest, while the other has Arizona written in red with black and sand trim. The latter was introduced in 2013 as a tribute to the victims of the Yarnell Hill fire. On both uniforms, player names were sand with red trim, and numbers in red with sand trim. Prior to the 2016 season, the Diamondbacks reincorporated teal into its color scheme while keeping Sedona red, Sonoran sand and black. They also unveiled eight different uniform combinations, including two separate home white and away gray uniforms. One major difference between the two sets is that the non-teal uniforms feature a snakeskin pattern on the shoulders, while the teal-trimmed uniforms include a charcoal-slash-gray snakeskin pattern on the back. Arizona also kept the throwback pinstripe sleeveless uniforms from their 2001 championship season for use during Thursday home games. Starting with the 2020 season, the Diamondbacks made slight redesigns to their current uniforms. The snakeskin patterns were removed while the teal-trimmed gray uniforms were retired. The team also reverted to a standard gray uniform after wearing a darker shade on the previous set. Two home white uniforms remain in use, the primary Sedona red and the alternate teal. They would also wear two black uniforms, one with the primary logo on the left chest and the other with lost D-backs trimmed in teal. Three cap designs were also unveiled, the primary a cap, the teal trim snake cap, and the sand trim snake cap. The Nike swoosh logo is also placed on the right chest near the shoulder. Chase Field the primary television play-by-play voice for the team's first nine seasons of play was Tom Brenneman, who also broadcast baseball and college football games nationally for Fox Television. Brenneman was the TV announcer for the Chicago Cubs and Cincinnati Reds before being hired by Diamondbacks founder Jerry Colangelo in 1996, two years before the team would begin play. In October 2006, Brenneman left the Diamondbacks to call games with his father for the Reds beginning in 2007, signing a four-year deal. The English-language flagship radio station is Kerr. Greg Schulte is the regular radio play-by-play voice, a 25-year veteran of sports radio in the Phoenix market. Also well-known for his previous work on Phoenix Suns, Arizona Cardinals and Arizona State University broadcasts. Jeff Munn is a backup radio play-by-play announcer, he served as the regular public address announcer at Chase Field in the early days of the franchise. He is well known to many Phoenix area sports fans, having also served as the public address announcer for the Suns at America West Arena in the 1990s. He is also the play by play radio voice for ASU women's basketball. On November 1, 2006, the team announced that the TV voice of the Milwaukee Brewers since 2002, Darren Sutton, would be hired as the Diamondbacks' primary TV play by play voice. Sutton was signed to a five year contract with a team option for three more years. Sutton is considered one of the best of the younger generation of baseball broadcasters. His signature chants include let's get some runs when the D-backs trail in late innings. Sutton's father is Hall of Fame pitcher and current Atlanta Braves broadcaster Don Sutton. Former Diamondbacks and Chicago Cubs first baseman Mark Grace and former Major League knuckleball pitcher Tom Candiotti were the Diamondbacks' primary color analysts for the 2006 and 2007 seasons. Former Diamondbacks third baseman Matt Williams also did color commentary on occasion, as did former Cardinals and NBC broadcast legend Joe Garagiola, Sr. A longtime Phoenix area resident and father of Joe Garagiola Jr., the first GM of the Diamondbacks, as head of the Maricopa County Sports Authority in the early 1990s. Garagiola Jr. was one of the primary people involved in Phoenix obtaining a Major League Baseball franchise. The Diamondbacks announced in July 2007 that for the 2008 season, all regionally broadcast Diamondbacks TV games would be shown exclusively on Fox Sports Arizona and a few could possibly be shown on the national MLB on Fox telecasts. Valley Sports Arizona is currently seen in two. Eight million households in Arizona and New Mexico. The previous flagship station since the inaugural 1998 season was KTVK, a popular over-the-air independent station in Phoenix. From 2009 to 2012, Mark Grace and Darren Sutton were tagged as the main broadcasters of the Diamondbacks with pregame and postgame shows on Fox Sports Arizona, being hosted by former big league closer Joe Borowski. On June 21, 2012, Darren Sutton was suspended indefinitely, amid rumors of insubordination. Then on August 24, the team announced that Mark Grace had requested an indefinite leave of absence after being arrested for his second DUI in less than two years. For the remainder of the 2012 season, Sutton was replaced by Greg Schulte and Grace was replaced by Luis Gonzalez. 
At the end of the 2012 season, the team announced that neither Sutton nor Grace would be returning for the 2013 season. On October 18, 2012, the team announced that Bob Brindley would be returning as a broadcaster to replace Grace and that he would be joined by then ESPN personality Steve Bertion. The flagship Spanish-language radio station is KHOV-FM 105. One with Oscar Soria, Rodrigo Lopez, and Richard Sainz. Games were televised in Spanish on KPHELP, with Oscar Soria and Jerry Romo as the announcers, but this arrangement ended prior to the 2009 season due to the team switching fully to Fox Sports Arizona and the lack of carriage of KPHELP on the Cox cable system. Randy Johnson pitching for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Of Luis Gonzalez All-Star Paul Goldschmidt had A on base percentage of 396, during his tenure in Phoenix signifies current major league player the Arizona Diamondbacks farm system consists of nine minor league affiliates. Thanks for watching.